over 57 years, the Lord has blessed the ministry of Calvin and Doris Evans. To honor their years of service, you're invited to join Calvin Ray Evans and Brian Baer on September 5th and 6th for the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. Services will be held at the Christian Baptist Tabernacle, located at 11325 Gallia Pike in Wheelersburg, Ohio. The McCaneys will sing on Thursday and the Primitives on Friday. Service time is 7 p.m. and there is free admission. For more information, call 800-767-8713 or visit calvinevans.org. And now we bring you Evangelistic Outreach with Evangelist Calvin Evans. The fields are white, already to harvest. From Southern Ohio, the Evangelistic Outreach team is reaching out across America and in many parts of the world with the gospel message of Christ through radio, television, the printed page, special missionary projects, and evangelistic crusades. This ministry of faith is dedicated to the cause of reaching the unreached for Christ through evangelism. And now, here is the director of Evangelistic Outreach, Calvin Ray Evans. This is the week, the great week of the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. I'm standing in the big tabernacle where in just a few days, we'll be gathered together with hundreds of our friends on this coming Thursday and Friday night right here in the tabernacle of the Christian Baptist Association in Wheelersburg, Ohio. It's easy to find. We'll give you some more information about it. Also, they'll be showing some video along about some of the things that's available. You're gonna love the facility here. It's very comfortable, but yet I cannot tell you the number of times that we have worshiped in this great sanctuary and the power of God, the glory of God has filled this place. And you'll wanna be among the hundreds that's coming this Thursday and Friday night to the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. Let's start things off with prayer. Lord, we thank you for the week that you have given us, this special week that we're able to come together with friends from all across this nation. We thank you for those that make this possible. Without you and without our friends, we know that none of this could take place. But through your mercy and grace, you've looked down upon us and blessed us in ways that we couldn't even imagine. And we thank you, Lord, for every blessing that you've sent down to us. We pray for the camp meeting this week, that people that need encouragement will find that encouragement in the wonderful services and worship. We pray for the unsaved that will attend these services. Lord, that it'll be a week where their heart and life will be changed for all eternity by the blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to anoint each service. Bless the McCamies as they come in to sing on Thursday night and the primitives as they sing on Friday night. And then Lord, we thank you again for the privilege just to lift you up. For when we lift you up, Christ, you said you would draw all men unto yourself. Bless now, we pray this week and bless this program in Jesus name and amen. Well, we'll be sharing some information with you about the camp meeting on this Thursday and Friday evening, but on Thursday night, we're gonna be honored to have the McCameys in with us. Admission is free, so you'll wanna get here in plenty of time, get here early, service starts at seven o'clock, and uh, you'll wanna get here in time to get a good seat, you can tell. Uh, there's plenty of room, and we wanna pack this place out to overflowing, so come and join us this Thursday night, the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting, seven o'clock, the Christian Baptist Tabernacle at Wheelersburg, Ohio. The McCameys will sing for us just now. Come and hear them on Thursday night. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known but then things change For you're never alone. For the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. And the God of the good times is still God in the valley. The God of the day is still God in the night. You talk of 
faith when you're up on the mountain all but the talk comes so easy when life's at its best but it's down in the valley of trials and temptation that's when faith is really put to the test for the god on the mountain is still god in the valley is he still god changed his mind about anything he's still from the beginning creator god the same today as he was then and he'll always be god he's just god he's just himself amen <laughs> for the god on the mountain is still god in the valley when things go wrong That's the McCamey's singing for you, and they'll be with us again on Thursday night to sing in the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the campgrounds here. Uh, there's ground level entrance, so you'll have no problem if you have physical handicaps getting into the sanctuary here of the tabernacle. And also, there's, uh, there's uh, spacious grounds here that's blessed to accommodate campers, a number of spaces with full hookups, but we are making them available the first First time we have ever done this in any of our meetings. If you're coming with your RV, your camper, and you need full hookup, there's limited spaces that are available, but we are making those available free of charge. So if you want to come, bring your camper, I do advise this, you need to call for a reservation. And that way we don't want you to come in and then all those spaces taken. There's also some other spaces that, that do not have full hookup, but if you need full hookup, be a good time. I realize winter will soon be here and you'll be winterizing your camper why not use it on this Thursday and Friday night to come and worship with us there's hotels very nearby our staff stands ready to help you with that as well and I just can't tell you how God has blessed these grounds these grounds have been set aside sanctified for the glory of God and God has honored the efforts of the people right here in this area for many many years now and I hope that you will make it a point to join us in these services. Again, admission is free on Thursday night and Friday night. Thursday night, the the uh, McCamies will be singing Friday night. The primitives will be singing. Now, when you're coming in, if you're traveling US 52, you come to the Wheelersburg exit and you turn north. You go to the second red light, turn right, and the, the tabernacle and the campgrounds only about a quarter of a mile on your right on Old Gallia Pike. If you need directions, just contact our office. And we do receive a lot of calls all at once. When we do, just leave your name, your contact number, and we assure you we'll get back to you promptly but why not come and worship the Lord together with us? If you enjoy old-fashioned camp meeting services, then you'll be blessed by what will take place here this week. And again, we look forward to the primitives coming to be with us on Friday night. And I hope that you'll maybe bring a delegation from your church, a church van or church bus. Come and join us in this camp meeting this coming Thursday and Friday night. Let's go to the primitives right now. 
Lord, I know when you saved me, you filled me with your spirit, and I praise your holy name. But oh, precious Lord, to be a light that others see, your Holy Spirit must be shining on me. Lord, will you empty me of every selfish thing that would hinder my sweet walk with thee? Shine down upon me and fill me anew in every way, Lord. Let me be more like you. When your light, Lord, is shining upon me, there's no hiding its wonderful glow. Family and children, my neighbors and all my friends, when I'm in Jesus, then all others will know Lord will you empty me of every selfish thing that would hinder my sweet walk with thee shine down upon me and fill me again in every let me be more like you now shine down upon me and fill me anew in every way lord let me be more like you Lord, will you empty me of every selfish thing that would hinder my sweet walk with thee? Now shine down upon me and fill me anew in every way, Lord. Let me be more like you. Lord, will you empty me of every selfish thing that would hinder my sweet walk with thee? Now shine down upon me and fill me anew in every way lord let me be more like you now shine down upon me and fill me anew in every way lord let me be more like you well that was the primitive quartet again they'll be with us on friday night at the calvin door seven's memorial camp meeting this friday night again thursday and friday it's going to be two big nights 
We're going to pack the, the grounds and the tabernacle here at the Christian Baptist, and we are very, very excited uh, to see what God is going to do. And we hope, again, you'll come, and you'll bring a church van. You'll bring people from your church. Invite your friends and family to come, especially invite the lost to come. I've seen things happen here at this tabernacle that I've seen happen nowhere else. I'm privileged to be a part of this denomination, to be ordained and on their general council. And the Lord has uh, blessed to uh, for allow me to be a, a part of some wonderful services. I've seen people healed right in front of my eyes here in these tabernac this tabernacle. People run and shout. And, you, and I guarantee once you get on these grounds, not even inside the tabernacle, but once you step foot on these grounds, you'll feel the presence of God in such a special way. And then when you enter into this tabernacle, you'll be uh, going back to years of how people have prayed, sacrificed. These, this building has been here since the 30s. And over the years, the Lord has blessed us to see hundreds of people come to know Christ. Churches have been started out of this tabernacle. It just has a rich history. And I know you'll be blessed to be a part of this great camp meeting at the Calvin North Seventh Memorial Camp Meeting again, Thursday and Friday night at 7 p.m. Come early to get a good seat. There'll be people here to help you park your car. And uh, again, the grounds are spacious and it's, it's gonna handle the crowd, but we want you to come and fill this place out and we're gonna have a time in the Lord. And years ago, uh, Calvin uh, preached many camp meetings here. In fact, him and Angie and Pam sang a lot of the camp meeting services. And uh, I know that it's special to their hearts as well. Of course, me and Calvin Ray have been a part of the camp meeting here in the past few years. And, and uh, Calvin preached a message years ago and they were able to bring in uh, cameras and record that. And we actually have it for you today. We're gonna to share with you a segment of that message. And he actually just preached his personal testimony and he titled it, What Christ Means to Me. So we're gonna be going to a segment of that message today and then we'll be back to close out the program. But here's Calvin Evans preaching many years ago from the Christian Baptist campgrounds on what Christ means to me. I went one entire winter once, I never even saw my father. He worked seven days a week. Bless his heart, he's in heaven now. Hauling wood to fire kills with, cutting, we call it paper wood now. He'd leave about five o'clock in the morning before I'd get up, get in about nine or 10 that night after I'd go to bed. I'd go days in and days out I'd never seen. Working 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week. But you know, I learned something. I learned how to work. And I've never forgotten it. You know, it was this kind of times and these kind of necessities. And it was, I was just one of, I, you know, I didn't know I was poor because I wasn't poor. Everybody around me was poor. Of course, even the poor folks called us poor. I, I was a little lower than some of them. My brother was, has sung two or three nights here in this meeting. He and I would go hide in a corner of a school lot to eat our lunch because the other children would laugh at us. We didn't have light bread. We had biscuits. Took it in an eight pound lard bucket. Couldn't buy, couldn't buy a, a lunch pail. I was a teenager before I ever tasted my first hamburger out of a restaurant. You can imagine now what a time I have pushing them back when I go down to Hickey's. <laughs> and you know what I thought of as a teenage boy? I said, when I get big, one of these days, sometime, when I get, I become a man, I'm going to buy all the hamburgers I can eat. <laughs> I was 16 years old. The summer I was 16, Dad, as I said, was a truck gardener. Tomatoes was mo the main crop. And he'd start working those about March, and of course they didn't come on until about July. That meant three or four months there wasn't any payday coming in. And I'd cut paper wood or, or wood to burn charcoal with a double bitted ax. You didn't have a power saw. You cut it down with the ax and chop it up with an ax. And I'd keep her family those three or four months an income coming in while dad could get the crop raised. 
But you know then, I graduated, I went to work, got a good job in an industrial plant, got married, and I had one determination. I'm going to give my children those things that I didn't have. I'm going to make money. So I started working. And in addition to that, I started playing music in a nightclub with a band. So I'd work all day at the plant and play music four nights a week in a nightclub in Huntington, West Virginia. I was making money. But it wasn't very long till I began doing the drinking. My marriage got in trouble. I had two, two kids, two children. And they'd wake up in the night and say, where's daddy? She'd say, I don't know. Our marriage was on the rocks. But then my grandfather died. And I spent the last night with him in a hospital. And he said, Calvin, call all the family in. I want to speak to them one more time. I'm going across the river. I said, oh, Dad, you're going to be all right. He said, no, I'm all right. But he said, I'm leaving. I'd like to say goodbye to them. And he looked up at me and said, Calvin, I'm just going to be over there waiting for you. Get saved and get right with God. He left this world with a testimony. That funeral, the preacher preached right at me. And I realized then the answer wasn't in making money. The answer wasn't in getting things. Things did not satisfy I realized my life was empty. And we started sending Sharon to Sunday school with her grandmother. And little by little, we started thinking about what we're going to do with our life. Finally, one night, a big revival was going on at Sugar Creek Baptist Church. Folks being saved by the scores. Doris said, I don't know about you, Calvin. I know you have to go to the club tonight. But she said, I'm going to church. She said, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to send Sharon anymore to Sunday school with your mother, with her grandmother. I'm going to take her. I know something is wrong with our life. I don't know about you, but she said, I'm going to try to get right with God and give these kids a Christian mommy. She went. I went on to the club. But that night... About one o'clock in the morning, I began to whisper a prayer to God in that dance stand. And I said, Lord, if you'll get me out of here tonight, I'll never be back. I went to church the next night. I quit the band that night. He said, well, just one more weekend. I said, that's it. Why? Why are you quitting? I'm going to church. What's got into you? I don't know what's got into me, but something's into me. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to quit. As I said the other night, thank God when it happened, I didn't quit my drinking. I just changed the fountain. <laughs> I didn't quit singing. I just changed songs. And I went to church that night and, and the building was packed and they gave the invitation. And I was wanting to give my life to the Lord. I was wanting to go so bad I was standing there gripping the seat. Eight, there were eight unsaved people. The, there wasn't any outside aisles. Uh, I was in the aisle and the people ahead of me, they had to get out completely out of the seat before I could get out. And I stood there trembling and three or four people came and talked to me and they was telling me I ought to go home and think about it. I didn't want to go home and think about it. I was wanting to go so bad I couldn't hardly stand it. And finally I made the step and those eight people in front of me all were unsaved. And they went right on. They didn't even stop. I laid them in front of me. I prayed and I wrestled with God that night. The next day, I went back to the altar the second night. I prayed all the next day. I don't suppose I eat one solid meal in those two days. Then it came Sunday. 
And I had a talk with dad. I always talked things over with dad. He was unsaved too. He'd never been a Christian, even though he was a good moral man. I said, Dad, I don't think I'll go back to church tonight. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. And every night the haystack gets bigger and the needle gets smaller. I don't know what's wrong, but I said, I just think I won't go back. He said, oh, you ought to go back. I said, what do you care for? You're not a Christian. He said, oh, but, but uh, you, you should go. Well, I did go. And thank God when I reached my end. I said, Lord, I can't pray anymore, can't do anymore. I'm yours. Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I know you can tell we're excited, and we are excited. We're expecting God to do great things, and we're going to come expecting, and we're going to be worshiping the Lord. So let me run down with you one more time the details this Thursday and Friday night, September the 5th and the 6th the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting here at the Christian Baptist Tabernacle in Wheelersburg, Ohio on Old Gallia Pike. Service time is 7 p.m., no admission charge. Again, if you're bringing in a camper or a recreational vehicle, make sure you call ahead to see if there's any spaces available. And again, we have all the information available at our office. Our toll-free number is 800-767. 8713. We invite you and encourage you to bring a church van. There's uh, handicap entrances uh, right at ground level. That way you can uh, bring in those that maybe have physical handicaps. And again, there's plenty of room here at the Christian Baptist Tabernacle. Let's come and let's fill this place up. And I ask you to do one thing for me. I ask you to pray, 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 pray for an old fashioned move of the Holy Spirit. Pray that souls be saved and pray that we can see the kingdom of God grow through this Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. Many of you have said over the years, if there's anything I can do for you, if there's anything I can do to honor Calvin and Doris Evans, will you let me know? Well, we're letting you know today, there's no greater way to honor the lives of Calvin and Doris Evans than to come and join us this Thursday and Friday night for the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. God bless you, and we hope to see you this Thursday and Friday. For over 57 years, the Lord has blessed the ministry of Calvin and Doris Evans. To honor their years of service, you're invited to join Calvin Ray Evans and Brian Baer on September 5th and 6th for the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. Services will be held at the Christian Baptist Tabernacle, located at 11325 Gallia Pike in Wheelersburg, Ohio. The McCameys will sing on Thursday and the Primitives on Friday. Service time is 7 p.m. and there is free admission. For more information, call 800-767-8713 or visit calvinevans.org. It's been a joy to share with you another evangelistic outreach program. The fields are white, already to harvest. This is a ministry of faith made possible by its many friends in Christ. Please address all mail regarding this program to Calvin Evans, Pedro, Ohio, 45659. Again, that address is Calvin Evans, Pedro, Ohio, 45659. And be sure to mention you heard the program on this station. It's too